Question number two, we are told the first term of a geometric progression, GP, is two. Uh, so A is two. Uh, the common ratio of the of the GP is also two. So R is equals to two. Uh, the product of the uh, the last two terms of the GP is 512. Determine the number of terms in uh, the GP. So geometric progression, uh, it is of this form, AR, uh, AR, AR squared. Uh, you continue like that. The last term is AR n minus 1. So this is the last term. Uh, since so the the two the, the the last two terms the one that is before this one it means that this one uh, we can uh, we can put it like this uh, it is a r uh, a r n minus two uh, then we have a r n minus one to be the last term so these are the last term that we have so and since we have uh, so we have these are the a r n minus two, uh, and uh, so we are told uh, the product of the two. So if you multiply a r n minus one, this product should give you five hundred and twelve. So since we have been given a the first time, so this means is two. Uh, you use dot to to multiply. Or we can just write multiplication uh, r. Uh, not r but we replace r with the two then we have n minus two uh, you multiply by uh, two multiply by two n minus one is equals to 512 if you factorize it is the same as two to power nine so we can combine this of course here we have uh, 2 to power 1 although you don't put it so we can combine all this and say this is 2 1 plus n minus 2 plus 1 plus n minus 1 that is using the first row of indices uh, this is 2 to power 9 so 1 minus 1 minus uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 so we have uh, two. Uh, we have uh, this is we can write minus one n, uh, and we add n. We say uh, plus two n uh, is equals to uh, is equals to two to power nine. So this means that uh, 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 minus one plus two n is equals to nine. We take one to the other side. We have two n is equals to uh, we say it is 10 implying that n is equals to 5 so that's how you work out that and you'll be able to get uh, three marks